Hello, and welcome to another Isinga 2 tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to install Isinga 2 from the AWS Marketplace, but first, let's go over some prerequisites. First, we require that a web browser be pre-installed on your box. It doesn't matter if it's Safari, Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer. As long as your web browser is supported by the Amazon Web Service Portal, you'll be good to go. Second, we require that you have an Amazon Web Service account. And third, we require there be an active payment method on that account. If you have trial credits available, this will be great for the hardware that you'll use when deploying the instance, but it will not cover the cost of the usage of Isinga 2 from the Amazon Marketplace. Upon attempting to deploy Isinga from the Amazon Marketplace, you'll have two options available. Option one is for bronze level support, which covers Monday through Friday, nine to six. And option two is platinum level support, which covers 24 by seven. The number of annual support cases will vary depending on the support level you pick, as well as the response time and some other variable options. Bronze level support is currently available at 75 cents, while platinum level support is currently available at 99 cents. Additionally, you can purchase either support packages annually at a rate of $5,500 for bronze and $7,700 for platinum, respectively. Now, let's go deploy these from the Amazon Web Service Marketplace. Once you've successfully logged into the AWS Web Console, select the Services tab and select EC2 under the Compute tab. Once the page loads, click Launch Instance. Select AWS Marketplace from the menu options on the left-hand side and type Isinga into the search option window and hit Enter. You'll see a number of Isinga options available from Shadowsoft, including our annual and hourly level support, as well as bronze and platinum. Additionally, you'll see Isinga 2.5, 2.7, and potentially even newer versions available depending on when you view this video. To get more information about the Isinga product, click More Info and select the link at the bottom of the product description. This will redirect you to the AWS Marketplace product overview for Isinga under the current support level you've selected. From here, you can get product overview information, pricing information, as well as support information, which includes where you can set up a support account in our support ticketing system, and where you can get information about the product, including administration guides and further information for setting up additional clients. Once you return back to the AWS Marketplace selection screen, click Select next to the product description you wish to purchase. After the following page loads, click Continue to move past and accept the terms of use. At this point, you'll be provided a number of options which are supported for the usage of our Isinga 2 image. Select whichever virtual machine size you wish to use and click Next to configure that instance details. Select the number of instances you wish to deploy, as well as any other optional configuration options regarding the network or IAM role. Here you can select the size of the hard drive that will be used for the base level operating system. Note, you can't select anything under 10 gigabytes as that is the default that's used to build the instance itself. After you're done changing the size of the hard drive, click next to add tags. At this point, add any tags that you want. For example, you can add a name tag so that way it's easy to find within your inventory. Select Next at the bottom right to configure the security group for networking. At this point, the default security group will be displayed to you, which includes network routing for SSH, HTTP, and the custom port used for Isinga client configuration. We highly recommend that you set the source IP address to only the networks which should be able to remotely access your Isinga 2 instance. Once you're done, hit Review and Launch. This screen will highlight the options you selected previously and also highlight the end user license agreement which you will be agreeing to upon launching this instance. Please review our end user license agreement before continuing. At this time, select launch and select an existing key pair that you've made previously. If you don't have an existing key pair, we recommend you create one now by selecting the drop down menu and hitting creating a new key pair.
At this time, once your key pair has been selected, hit Launch Instances. This will take a few minutes for this subscription to launch entirely, so please be patient while the following screen loads. Once your instance begins launching, select View Instances to see the status of your current instance. Once your instance finishes launching, we're now going to go and try and view the web console that's been launched associated with your Asynca 2 image. First, begin by selecting the DNS entry associated with your web server. Additionally, you could also use the public IP addresses associated with your box as well. Select the Copy to Clipboard link next to the public DNS entry and open up a new tab in your browser. Paste the link and you should automatically be redirected to Isinga Web 2 authentication slash login. By default, the username will be Isinga admin and your password will actually out of the box be the instance ID of your current instance, including the I hyphen. Upon hitting login, you should be provided with all of the recently discovered services that are associated with your Isinga 2 instance. If you have any further questions regarding changing the default password or discovering new services, please refer to the administrative guide provided on our support page or go to the Isinga website where you can find all the support documentation related to this product. We would like to thank you for watching our video today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or issues with the content that's being displayed in this video, please contact us at your earliest convenience at support.shadow-soft.com. Thank you, and we hope to see you guys again.